So I'm going to start where it counts at the box office in the cinema. I'm going to do it backwards. Most people want to hear, oh, writing a script and the camera and shooting and makeup and process. Oh, no, no. But let's, let's start where it counts. How do you monetize it? You want to get your film in the cinema, right? Who do you think chooses the films that get the big West End premieres? Distributors. Distributors, exactly. Distribution companies have the rights to films for the UK. They'll look at their upcoming slate of films and decide which one is worthy of the expense and effort of organizing a big West End premiere, flying in all the talent, all that stuff, yeah? So what they do is they go to the cinema owners. Cinema owners are very important, called the exhibitors. The exhibitors own these very expensive black boxes with very lucrative concession booths at the front. Most of the money that cinemas make comes from the popcorn. Now there's a person who works for every single distribution company in the world. I'm going to ask you for the job title. This person's job is to recommend to the owners of the distribution company which individual films they are going to acquire. Acquisitions executive. Very good. Acquisitions executive. Every distribution company in the world has an acquisitions executive. Now two people buy stuff in the film industry. Acquisition executives buy finished films. Development executives buy scripts and ideas. So if you're ever at a film event and you're a screenwriter, how many screenwriters here tonight? <laughs> One and a half? <laughs> three? So you as a screenwriter, if you're ever at an industry event and someone chats you up, say to them, what do you do? If they say, I'm in acquisitions, they can't help you, right? <laughs> They're just trying to get in your pants, right? <laughs> you, sir, want a development executive, yeah? So the development executive now will scour the world looking for new films. Where do you think they look? Film festivals, yes, like Rain Dance. Now, there's a person at every single film festival, however small or large, whose job is to decide which of the many films that are submitted gets programmed for that festival. What is that person's job title? Festival programmer. So you want to make a film. There's only two people in the world you really want to look at. Festival programmers and acquisition executives. Now there's many dirty secrets in the film industry. Here's one. Festival programmers and acquisition executives do not acquire or program the films that they like they acquire or program the films they think they can sell tickets to. So when you finish your film, look at distribution companies, look at festivals to see what kinds of films that they program, or maybe do that at script stage. Why would you go to the effort of writing a script, raising the money, getting it made, if no one wants it? Why would you do that?